so guys during our last class i told you guys that i'll make a video on flowcharts and here it is so before we continue with further exercises there are a few things you should know also about the flowchart the connector is used primarily for linkage so there are two types of these there the on page connector denoted by this which is used for same page connection and the off page connector denoted by this which is used for connecting flowcharts from different pages so on the next page we'll consider some few other examples of the flow chart so here i have a typical example of a flow chart without a page connector so this is a quadratic equation using the almighty formula so here you have um, the flow lines linking just the pathways this is actually this is not a syntax it does not follow a particular syntax but then you have to make sure that any formula you're putting in is correct so just follow the processes and then get down through the pathway from the start to the end So just as usual, we'll have our start first and then after the start is proceeded by imputing the value. So we impute the value of n, which is the number we are finding the factorial. So after that, the next thing is to set m as 1 and set f as 1. These are the values we'll be making use of during our calculation process. So all we have to do is to make f equivalent or store f times m in the memory location of f rather. So the next thing is to make a decision. Is m equal to n? If m is equal to n, something will happen. Then if not, another thing will also happen. But look at this, we have um, an on-page connector here. This indicates that this line of action cannot be written further here. So we'll proceed from this other side. So we have output f. That's if yes, the next thing that follows is to output f. So f becomes our answer. And then we end the program. But what if... It was a no what if m is not equivalent to n then we'll now do m is equal to m plus one and then once we do that we'll come back and get down back to this process again so the last example will be on computing the HDF of two numbers so we start with the terminator starts and then the next thing we have to do is to impute data that imputes A and B. So after that, the next thing that follows is a process. So the process is to save the input values as NR and DR. I actually use it to represent the numerator and denominator. So the next is to compute the remainder of a over b that's a divided by b whatever you have as your remainder you compute it so the next is to make a decision so you evaluate if the remainder is equal to zero so is the remainder equal to zero if it is equal to zero something will happen and if it is not equal to zero another thing will happen so if the answer is no so you replace a by B and replace B by the remain by the remainder so which becomes which makes A become B and B becomes the remainder so whatever you have as B 
now turns to A, which is the numerator. So whatever you have as your remainder now turns to B, which is the denominator. So you follow the, you get down back to the process and follow the process down again to the decision until you have zero as your remainder. Then if zero now is your remainder, that's yes. Another thing will happen. Now, because we don't have more space for this, we'll use the off page connector to connect. So next over here, we have an off page connector connecting the previous page to the next page. So this will be followed by a process. So the process is calculate the HCL. So HCL is equal to B, which is the denominator. And then this will be followed by another data output, which says print NR, DR, and HCL. That's numerator, denominator, and HCL. And then lastly is to end the program. So guys, with this, we've come to the end of this tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. You can also use the comment section below to tell us how you feel about the video and also ask us a few questions you might want to.